Of course, most birth control items are related towards females only, so it kind of puts the onus on them to uh, prevent pregnancies, whereas the one main topic for guys is going to be vasectomies or just condom use, which isn't the best form of birth control long term. I'm a big believer in that men need to take their role in birth control as well. It's a lot simpler of a procedure and a lot safer procedure than a lot of the procedures that are done for women, particularly tubal ligations and that. And a lot of guys have a misconception of how much discomfort or how much is actually involved in doing that procedure, so I try to get people educated a significant amount about what it really entails and that it's a lot less than they expect it to be. In fact, most of my patients, when they leave from the procedure, usually walk out going, well, that wasn't what I thought it was going to be. That was nothing. There's two methods that are done for vasectomies, a scalpel technique and a no-scalpel technique, kind of minimizing the differences. Uh, scalpel techniques usually use two incisions uh, that are fairly large, and you end up having stitches usually to close them, and it's uh, kind of on one on each side to be done. They have a little bit longer recovery time, a little more discomfort from stitching and incisions. The no-scalpel technique doesn't use a scalpel to cut. It, most of us use one incision, and it's a much smaller incision. doesn't usually have to be stitched and so there's a lot less bruising, a lot less bleeding risk, and a uh, very quick recovery. For three days at least, they should be just laying around mostly instead of up and doing things. Usually if I do it on a Friday, say, then they're off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, most people return back to work on a Monday. It is not painful. They're usually given a little bit of med to sedate them a little bit, uh, kind of like having a couple drinks is how they're gonna feel. And uh, other than a little bit of numbing to the skin, a little patch for so a little tiny needle stick, uh, most of the rest of the procedure, they're not gonna have any pain. Uh, but they do have to come back and test. It's usually no sooner than six weeks. It takes time to, to resolve uh, after the procedure, so they have to come back and test to make sure there are, there are no sperm present. And once they show that there's nothing present, then they're clear. And so I think it's just uh, one of the roles that guys can do to help family planning events.